Hi, so let's look at this set now. It's a easy to moderate level set actually. So what's given here is exactly six dogs P, Q, R, S, T and U are entered in a dog show. The judge of the show awards exactly four ribbons, one for each of first, second, third and the fourth places to four of the dogs. Okay. The information that follows is all that is available about the six dogs. First is each dog is either a greyhound or a labrador but not both. Fine. Two of the six dogs are female and the four are male. Okay. So there are two female dogs and four male dogs. So like one, two, three, four. Four male dogs and two female dogs. Okay. This is what we have from the second statement. Third is the judge awards ribbons ribbons to both the female dogs and exactly one of which is a labrador okay so both the female dogs get a ribbon so star here denotes a ribbon so out of four ribbons two ribbons go to the females that means two ribbons will go to the males so two males will uh, be in the first four and two females will be there in the first four and also out of these two females exactly one of them is a labrador Exactly one is a Labrador that means the other one will be a Greyhound. Okay. Next is exactly one Labrador wins a ribbon. So there's only one Labrador which wins a ribbon and that Labrador is a female. That means the other three will be Greyhound. The other three pe uh, dogs who will who win a ribbon will be Greyhounds. So one Greyhound is already here. These two also win a ribbon. So these two will be Greyhounds only. They cannot be Labradors. Next is dogs P and R place ahead of dog S. Okay. So dog P and R, they are ahead of S. Okay. P and R are ahead of S and dog S places ahead of Q, T. So dog S places ahead of Q and T. Now within P and R, we do not know who is F, who comes before the other. P can be before R or R can be before P. We do not have that information. And the same is true for Q and T. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five dogs here. There is one more dog which is left, which is uh, you. So we do not know about you. You will come somewhere either before P or in between them. So wherever you comes actually, P and R and S, these will be definitely the first four. These will be in the first four definitely. Either you can come between S and these two. Either you can come over here, then P, R, S will definitely be in the first four. If U comes between P, R and S, then again P, R and S will definitely be in the first four. If U comes between P, U, P and R or R and P, in that case also P, R and S will be in the first four. Or even if U is the first one, then also P, R and S will be in the first four. So P, R and S are definitely in the first four irrespective wherever U fits in. Okay. Next is dogs P and R are greyhounds. Okay. So let me write, write these all down. P, Q, R, S, T, U. So it's given that P and R are greyhounds. P and R are greyhounds. This is greyhound. This is greyhound. Dogs S and U are Labrador. So this is Labrador. This is Labrador here. Okay. Now out of Q and T, what can be Q and T? Can they both be Greyhounds or both Labradors or one Greyhound and one Labrador? Let's see. Can they both be Greyhounds? Yes, it's possible they can both be Greyhounds. We need at least three Greyhounds and at least one Labrador. So we already have two Labradors. So that's fine. We need at least three Greyhounds. We have two Greyhounds here. So definitely one of them has to be a Greyhound. One of Q and T has to be a Greyhound and the other can be Greyhound or Labrador. So basically what, is this, what this means is that Q and T both cannot be Labradors. If Q and T both are Labradors, then we will have only two Greyhounds, which is not possible because we need at least three Greyhounds. Okay. Now again, uh, we know there's only one Labrador which gets a ribbon. Fine. So there are two Labradors here. L, uh, S and U definitely are Labradors and one of Q T will be lab can be Labradors. But we know out of P, R and S, all these three will be in the first four. So S will definitely get a ribbon. P 
P definitely gets a ribbon, R definitely gets a ribbon and S definitely gets a ribbon. So S will definitely get a ribbon and S is a Labrador and the only Labrador getting a ribbon is this guy here who is a female. Okay. So this is definitely going to be S. Okay. If S is a female, now it is established that S will be a female because S is the only Labrador which is getting the ribbon. So any other Labrador getting or not getting a ribbon will be a male because there is only one female Labrador. Okay. So you here will be actually a male. Okay. So male Labrador, we know the two males who got a ribbon are greyhounds. So then that this means that M will actually be or U will actually be a male who is a Labrador. So this is U and <coughs> sorry. And U does not get a ribbon. Okay. Now that we have figured out that you cannot win a ribbon, that means you cannot be in the first four. Okay. You will be in the last two. Okay. Since you will be in the last two, the last two people will be either Q and U or the last two will be T and U. So you will be in the last two dogs and not in the first four. Fine. So this is what we this is the information that we can gather so far from the conditions given. Now let's look at the questions. First is, which one of the following is a complete and accurate list of dogs that can be greyhounds? Remember, the question is asking can be. It is not asking who must be greyhounds. Who can be? So it is asking possibility and a complete list of possibility. Okay. So we already know P and R are greyhounds. Who else can be a greyhound? Q can be a greyhound and T also can be a greyhound. It's not necessary that they both will be greyhounds, but they can be greyhounds. So as far as possibility is concerned, P, Q, R, T is a complete list of dogs which can be greyhounds. Okay. Now let's look at the next question. Which of the following statements cannot be true? Okay. We have to tell which statement definitely cannot be true. So the first statement, a female greyhound wins the second place ribbon. So can a female greyhound win the, win the second place? Second place will be either P or R. Either P will be first, R will be second or R will be first and P will be second. S definitely will be third. This you can definitely say that S will definitely be in the third place and one of Q and T will be in the fourth place and U will be amongst the last two. So as far as female uh, greyhounds are concerned, a uh, female Labrador wins the third place. So a female Greyhound, this can win a second place. There is no problem with that. So the first option can be true. So this is this can be true. So it's not necessarily false. Second, dekne, option B, a female Labrador wins the second place ribbon. So there's only one female lab Labrador, which is S and S def definitely wins the third place. So S cannot get the second place. So option B is definitely false. It cannot be true. Hence the answer is option B here. Okay. Moving on to the third question. Which one of the following dogs must be male? Okay. So let's go back to the arrangement here. We know U definitely is a male and S definitely is a female. So is U there in the options? Yes. Option E. So it's quite simple. The answer is option E. Moving on to the fourth question. Which one of the following statements can be false? Okay. Dog P places ahead of R. Can this be false? Yes, it can be. Dog R can also be ahead of P. We don't have to mention or uh, we don't have to figure out a statement which is definitely false. We have to figure out what can be false. Okay. If R is first and P comes second, then the statement becomes false because either of P or R can be first or second. So this statement can be true, it can be false, so it can be false here. Okay, just to make things a little clear, let's clear, let's check the other options as well. Dog P places ahead of dog T. Dog P places ahead of dog T. Can the statement be false? No, it cannot be. Dog P is always ahead of T, irrespective of whatever the situation or arrangement be. Okay, so this statement is always true, so this cannot become false. Correct. Next is dog R places ahead of dog U. We know dog U will be amongst the last two and dog R is amongst the first four. So dog R will always be ahead of dog U. 
so this statement is always true it cannot become false similarly this statement cannot become false this statement cannot become false only statement a can or the option a can become false others are always true okay moving on to the next question fifth if dog q is female which of the following statements can be false okay so first let's check if q is a female so s is already a female and both the females win the ribbon so q will also win the ribbon so out of q and t q wins the ribbon that means t will not win a ribbon that means t will be a male who does not win a ribbon now we also know p and r win ribbon so p and r will be males and greyhounds and they both win ribbons fine now let's look at the question so which of the following statements can be false first option is dog p is a male so dog p is a male is definitely true if q is a female dog p will have to be a male this statement cannot be false hence this cannot be our answer dog r is a male dog r is definitely a male if q is a female in that case this statement cannot become false this is always true dog q wins the fourth place fourth place ribbon yes dog q will have to win the fourth place ribbon only because third is s and q will come after s only since q wins and q will win after s only that means q can come only fourth or q will definitely come fourth so this statement is always true this cannot become false next is dog q is a greyhound is dog q a greyhound yes if q has to be a female dog q will have to be a greyhound okay so this statement is also always true this cannot be false last is dog t is a greyhound now if you look at dog t we don't know the third male whether the third male is a labrador or a greyhound so dog t can be a labrador it can be a greyhound also so this statement need not always be true this can either be true or this can be false also hence the correct answer is option e statement e or option e can be true it can be false also okay remember we have to say or you have to figure out which can be false and not definitely be false hence the answer is option e coming to the next question sixth if dog t now uh, this statement which was that q is a female is only for the fifth question it does not apply to the other questions so we will not be considering that information for the other questions okay so if dog t wins the fourth place ribbon now dog t is winning the fourth place ribbon now t can be either a male or a female we don't know yet then which of the following statements must be true now t is winning a ribbon so if t wins the ribbon so t will definitely come fourth only in that case okay s will be third and one of p and r will be first and the other will be second okay now if p r s and t are amongst the first four that means q and u do not win anything they are the last two people okay so u we already know is a male and the in the last two q is also there q cannot win a ribbon hence q cannot come over here not here not here and this is definitely not q so q will definitely have to be a male dog okay so if t wins the fourth position then q will have to be a male dog hence dog q is definitely a male this is always true hence the correct answer for question 6 is dog q is a male okay now since this information that t wins the uh, ribbon is only for the sixth question we will not be considering this information for the next question which is which of the following statements could be true okay could be true so dog p does not win a ribbon this cannot be true because dog p r and s definitely are winning a ribbon so this cannot be uh, true dog s does not win a ribbon this also cannot be true because p r and s are definitely winning a ribbon so this also cannot be true okay dog t wins a ribbon can this be true either q or t will be winning the ribbon so one of them can win the ribbon so dog t can win the ribbon so option d can be true option d can be true now if you look at option e dog u wins a ribbon dog u definitely does not win a ribbon this we have figured out hence dog or uh, the statement e cannot be true only statement that can be true in question 7 is 
D. Okay, so that's it for this set. Thank you.